Hello, uh, everyone. In this uh, demonstration, I will show you how to use Proc SQL in SaaS. So, first of all, you have to log into SaaS on demand for academics. So, once you log in there, you will see all the applications that you have access to, and one of them will be SaaS Studio. So, you click on SaaS Studio, and it's going to launch. The SAS Studio, you key in your user ID and password, and this is the screen you're going to see most of the time. And while you're on SAS On Demand uh, dashboard, you should see the course data directory. This is, a direct, this is a directory on the server where all the files will be uploaded to. And this is the directory which we have to use to create the live name or lib name. That's the library. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is once you see this screen off and this will be blank, that's my code here. So you have to click on this one here, exit, maximize view, and you will see all the stuff here. Now here you see the sometimes it's gonna be like that. So these are the folders here, uh the server files and folders that you have access to. My content is the default folder my underscore content where all the files that you'll upload to basically so if you select this one upload select the file you know and, and you can upload it there you can upload excel file you can upload csv file or typical sas data set so so let's say we already have the here uh organics dot sas 7 dac so that's the sas data set here and what i want to do is i want to uh, retrieve the some of the records using SQL. For example, here I can see that you have damage is okay. Then you see dem cluster and then dem cluster group. So I want to see how many groups are there. So the distinct uh, dem cluster groups available here. Likewise, I want to see the distinct uh, dem region, distinct distinct dem TV region, and all that kind of stuff. So one way I figured it out is it is a lot easier to use uh, Proc SQL. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first thing we have to do is always is create the library. So I'm gonna show you how to do that quickly here. Let's create a library here. So you go to the libraries, tab here, click here, and you can give any name that has to be eight characters, I guess. I'm gonna say my data here, underscore just to be a different then my data which which is already being used here i'm going to copy this one here and that's the path i'm going to put it here let's see check this one here and say okay here you see my data here now uh, if you write it here properties you see that's been linked to this uh folder path here and that folder path if you see is all these files are the same, like as my data. That's the one I created before. This is the one I created right now. And they are all pointing to the same uh, my content folder, my underscore content folder. So all these are the data. But you can, in the libraries, you can only see uh, SAS data sets. Okay, so these are all SAS data sets. But in my content uh, folder, you can upload other stuff, other dot csv or dot xls but those needs to be converted into sas data set before you can see that in the library okay so that's one thing so let's go ahead and do uh the uh sql command here so if you go here this is the way you write it proc sql semicolon and quit semicolon so that's what i'm going to write first and then again say select distinct now uh you have to use the field names in the table so the table is in a in a library uh called my underscore data so that's a lib name so that's the library you're referring to so you have organics data set within there so so you can cross check here so in my data and organics so that's how this organics is in my data library which you're referencing here and dem cluster and dem cluster group are the field names there. So these are the two field names I see there in that data set which I'm interested in. 
and I can always uh, do that here. So once you do that, click on run, it's gonna run, and it's gonna show you all the distinct values here, okay? Likewise, you can change it here, uh, go to code here, instead of dem cluster, uh, let's say I want to add more commands here. So I'm gonna copy this one here. Okay. So you want uh, a promotion, so it's a dem region, dem TV region. So I'm going to say here dem region, and I'm going to say dem TV. Yeah, so you cross around so there you see these are the distinct values for so looks like one region has many telev television regions okay and like there's your one neighborhood has it has 55 labels but neighborhood cluster has only seven labels so that's the beauty of our running the SQL and that's how you run the SQL here. Okay. That's all I wanted to show you in this lecture video, but make sure before you write the SQL, you need to have the library set here. And for that, again, you have to go to the library here, put down your my underscore data or whatever other name you want to use. Make sure you have that path, that path value is coming from your dashboard on the SAS on demand uh, for academics. There is a course data directory there. So you have to first upload before you can create the library. You have to you have to go to the server file and folder, click on my content and upload the file. Okay. So you can choose um, so here you are uploading the file and you can choose the file, whatever file you want to upload. This uh, you can upload again CSV or Excel or SAS data set or other uh, type of data set. Please refer to manual for that. With this, I stop my lecture video here. Thank you very much for listening.